Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'll be showing you how to connect your GoDaddy domain name with your HostGator hosting account. Awesome, so once you've purchased your domain name with GoDaddy and you've also set up a hosting account with HostGator, you can move on and you can connect those two services together. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into manage my domain within the GoDaddy control panel. And if I just go to manage my domains, And now I can scroll down to the one we'll be editing today. So I'll click on this one. And if you just scroll down a bit to name servers, and this is what we'll be um, changing today within GoDaddy itself. So the name, server, the name server itself is what connects the two products together. So you can host your domain name on the hosting account itself. So you just need to create that connection between the two products. And by editing the name servers, um, which HostGator provides, that allows you to connect those two together. So if you just go to manage, this will bring us up to editing the name servers. So if you just go to custom, and now we'll go to add name server. So if we go over to our HostGator account, and this is the control panel. So if you go all the way down to the bottom and just on the left hand side here, we have our own personal name servers, which we'll be copy and pasting over to GoDaddy. So I'll copy the first one and I'll go back to GoDaddy and I'll paste that in and I'll copy the second one and then I'll do the same thing. So once you've done that, you just want to hit OK. And now we can go save. And that should all be connected now. Uh, in the past, I have had um, a, a waiting time of up to 30 minutes. Um, but recently, all the ones I've connected have been pretty much instantaneous. So now we can go across to our HostGator account. And because we've notified GoDaddy that we're going to host it with HostGator, we also need to notify HostGator that we have made the connection to GoDaddy as well. So you have to make a connection on both ends um, of the scale. So if we go down to domains and then to add on domains. So now we can add in our domain name. So I'll go back to GoDaddy and I'll copy and paste our domain just so I don't make any spelling mistakes. And then I'll paste this one straight back in. And you don't have to worry about any of this because this will automatically apply itself. And then you just want to go ahead and you just want to put in your own password. Awesome. So now once you've done that, you just want to click on add domain. And if all has gone successful, you'll be um, welcomed with these two boxes here. Uh, the first one will be the add on domain has been created. And the second one is the FTP account has been created as well. So once those two services are connected, now you can move on and you can install your specific software that you want to start making your website with. And I will be uploading a video shortly on how to do that um, with WordPress. So if you want to see that one, um, hit that subscribe button and also hit the thumbs up on this video. And also if you have any other ideas um, for videos kind of with WordPress or GoDaddy or HostGator, um, put, your eyes, put your ideas down below because I'm always happy to make videos for everyone. And uh, as always guys, thanks for watching.